Next news is that in New Haven, Connecticut, in the USA, fire at New Haven Mosque was intentionally set, fire chief says. With Ramadan underway, the Dianet Mosque of New Haven was a daily gathering place for Muslims to be among friends and family as they broke their fast. Um, but on Sunday, worshippers received devastating news. A fire had broken out just before 4 p.m., rendering the mosque inhabitable. The specific motive for the arson was unclear. There have been no arrests, and the investigation is continuing, the authority said. The New Haven officials believed that the fire had been set intentionally. Where is this? This oh. is in New Haven, Connecticut, in the U.S. Oh, my God. All right. We're going to look like a... I mean... I don't see every every we are raising more attention uh, you're bringing more attention to Muslims being attacked than most other atheist channels I guess and then even though we do this we still be, get called uh, bigots anti-muslim what I was just recently called a white supremacist again if it seems to be happening every week now because we fight Islam, and when I see what's like, I don't pick the news. Um, our team picks the news and what gets posted on Atheist Republic. And three of today's stories were about Muslims being attacked, and we're bringing attention to it. And we still get Atheist Republic and me get accused of being. I mean, I haven't, today we didn't even have an anti Islam story, right? And we're just bringing attention to the fact that Muslims are being abused and, you know, uh, their mosques are being burned. It's, it's so stupid. Anyways, I mean, I've already used all my energy of co condemning anti-Muslim attack on the previous two stories. I don't have any, I don't have it in me anymore. Ali, do you want to condemn this one, please? This, I think everyone knows how you feel about it. This is terrible. This, this is, is terrible. This is terrible. Yeah, fuck whoever did this. Fuck whoever did this. I hope they get captured. I hope they go to prison. I, I'm, it's, it's a broke. Why is this happening a lot more now? Like, I'll, actually, I know why it's happening a lot more. But... Oh my god, this is gonna, this is gonna rise tension, this is gonna get worse and worse, isn't it? Like, this is gonna make, you know, let me tell you one side, um, we are, again, this is not the, obviously the worst thing about this is the fact that this is the mo people's properties being burned, okay? So I'm not trying to, when I'm pointing out something else, I'm, uh, I'm not trying to say that's the main cost of this. But let me give you one of the many costs associated with being so anti Muslim instead of being anti-Islam. I went, to, I, I told, I mentioned this a, a few times in other places. I went to a mosque, res, um, not recently, a few months ago uh, in Vancouver um, because it was an open mosque day and they were inviting people to come and learn about Islam and I accepted that invitation and I went there and they recognized me there and there was this one guy that came to me and he said, you know, I know that you're against Islam and stuff but please don't come and shoot the people here. The people here are good people. They don't wow. deserve to die, right? I was, I've, I felt sad for him and I was a bit angry at the same time because I felt sad for him because I felt like this poor guy is like, imagine the level of stress that he has to deal with, right? Um, that he, f given all this news in the story, they go to mosque and they think that Every time in the mosque, there's something might happen, right? But I also felt a bit angry because I felt like I didn't tell him that because I felt like it's not. I mean, given that he's so nervous, I just had to reassure him, like, dude, no, <laughs> no, okay, I'm not. Don't worry, please, don't worry. It's not good. That's not going to happen. But what I wanted to tell him that I didn't is that how is like I'm an anti-Islam critic, and. You think that because I'm an anti-Islam critic, there's, I might come and shoot up the people in this mosque. How is that different from me thinking, like if if somebody came to a gathering and it was a Muslim and I took that guy and I said like I know you're a Muslim, but please don't come shoot these non-Muslims here, right? Like, you know, it's kind of like generalizing, you know people that are against Islam thinking because you saw some news about people that are against Islam and they're like terrorists and you think then people that are against Islam they might want to they're also against Muslim you're generalizing it's very much like when you see a Muslim terror attack and you generalize all Muslim 
that you're doing the same thing to me now now but i didn't tell him that because i just wanted to calm him down um but again this is like people that think that i don't again i don't know what they think this will achieve okay um this makes again this is not the main cause to this okay the main cause to this is the loss of property and the, the stress that you're causing people but it's minor other costs again the minor cost compared to the main cost again i know people are going to take this out of context i don't care is that the people like us that we want to attack islam but we want to defend muslims it's harder for us to reach out to muslims and again we have we have convinced thousands of muslims out of islam thousands okay the ex-muslim community is growing faster than ever but you know our job has become a lot more difficult given with, with the rise of trump and the rise of the alt-right because they because they are scared of us you know it's harder like we they used to have their guard up every time somebody was anti-islam and we try to get that guard down and she was like we're just having a conversation here don't worry we're not like we just disagree with you if you want to listen to why we disagree with you this is why we think islam is nonsense and all that and we were very successful at getting their guard down this is going to get their guard back up right this kind of nonsense like if people think we know how to fight islam we do it effectively and these fucking idiots are making our jobs harder um let me see kenny is saying a single copy of the quran was left only slightly chart proof allah exists praise the lord yeah i guess it's okay jeffrey i call it pushback Oof. okay here's a hot take jeffrey saying i call it pushback and i believe it's going to be happening more and more all around the world so jeffrey i think he's endorsing this if you are then fuck you let me see if there's anything uh court is saying well i guess we see just how powerful allah is come on guys that's not the really i mean yes allah doesn't exist allah is weak god yeah hey, hey. like yeah we know islam is not a religion of peace islam is ridiculous but this is not the point to make here the point the main point to make here is fuck whoever burned this mosque that's the main point to make here atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.